Who was Emma McCune? Emma McCune was a white British woman who married a former rebel leader in the then southern Sudan, Dr. Reek Machaya. She was born in Assam, India to a British father who ran a tea plantation. After the family returned to the UK, her father struggled to adjust to UK's lifestyle and eventually committed suicide. Emma attended the School of Oriental and African Studies at the University of London before flying to Australia and back in a single-engined light aircraft. She then went to war-torn Sudan in 1987 to teach for the British organisation Volunteer Services Overseas. After reluctantly returning to England in 1988, she once again returned to Sudan in 1989 to work for the UNICEF-funded Canadian organisation called Street Kids International. Emma McCune became involved in the rebel movement in southern Sudan after she married Reek Machaya, a former rebel leader and current South Sudan vice president. She was motivated by her belief that the people of Sudan deserved to be free from oppression and violence. It is not clear why Emma McCune married Reek Machaya, but it is possible that she was motivated by her belief in his cause. It is also possible that she was attracted to him personally. Reek Machaya already had a wife in London who is now current South Sudan Defence Minister, London school girl Angelina Tini, but it is not known if this played a role in Emma's decision to marry him. Emma McCune was a British aid worker who was stationed in South Sudan during the country's long civil war. She was widely criticised for her decision to marry a local rebel leader, Dr. Reek Machaya, who was suspected of having links to the rebel government's enemies. McCune claimed that she married Machaya to gain access to areas controlled by the rebels and provide assistance to those who were suffering. However, many aid workers and journalists believed that her real motive was to secure a position of power within the rebel movement. Regardless of her motivations, McCune's actions had far-reaching consequences. Her marriage allowed Maka to consolidate his control over the rebel forces, and ultimately wanted to rise to power as the head of the government. Emma McCune's death was highly suspicious and there is strong allegations linking it to Dr. John Garang de Mabior, the chairman of the SPLA rebel group. Dr. Garang is known to be highly critical of Dr. Reek Maka's breakaway rebel faction and has been outspoken in his opposition to the faction's activities. There were speculations that Emma McCune had been receiving threatening phone calls from an unknown number before her death, which was believed to be linked to Dr. Garang's SPLA agents in Nairobi, Kenya. It was rumored that the caller would hang up whenever Emma answered the phone, which made her life very uneasy while her husband Dr. Reek Maka is battling with his brutal movement breakaway war in the then southern Sudan. Given the history of violence between the two groups and the fact that Emma McCune was married to brutal leader Dr. Reek and received threatening phone calls, it was alleged that her death was orchestrated by Dr. Garang de Mabior but with no available evidence. Her death highlights the complex and often dangerous nature of aid work in conflict zones. The result of Emma McCune's activism was that she helped to raise awareness of the plight of the people of Sudan and she also helped to provide them with practical assistance. Emma McCune was accused of being a foreign spy by the Sudanese government. However, there is no evidence to support this claim. Emma McCune moved to Nairobi, Kenya from southern Sudan in 1993 after becoming pregnant in a war zone. Emma McCune's child died in utero as a result of the car crash, and Emma McCune herself succumbed to her injuries shortly thereafter. Some have argued that Emma McCune was naive and careless in her decision to move and get in a relationship with a warlord leader, given the volatile political situation in the region. Others have praised her for her bravery in choosing humanitarian work which turned out as a political intimacy relationship. Ultimately, Emma McCune's story is a controversial tragedy, but one that highlights the strength and resilience of the human spirit. Do you think if Emma McCune was alive today, she would have controlled Dr. Reek not to cause more bloodshed to South Sudanese? Was Emma powerful more than Iron Lady Angelina? Let us know your comments. Proudly brought to you by Mac Talks.